Hi guys, good morning or good evening to everyone. So this tutorial is about uh, explaining the DD statements in JCL. So in the last videos you have seen about in detail about the job statement and exit statements and in this tutorial we will be seeing in detail about a DD statements. So the DD statement is followed by first thing we will be writing it is a DD name then followed by a DD operand then followed by a DSN that is nothing but it uh, here will be giving a data set name so when I say data set name that is nothing but it's a file name that we are going to give it so here the files are categorized into two types one is called as a PS file that is nothing but it's called as a physical sequential file then another is called as a PDS file we will see in detail what is this PS file and PDS file for now understand like so DSN is to represent a data set name or a DSN parameters we need to give a file name so I am giving some file name as some test.ps1 so or a ps okay then the next uh, parameter it will be having is a disposition parameter so whenever you create a new file so you have to specify whether it's a new file old file or you're going to shape, shape this file so I'm telling uh, to the system like you need to create a new file for this particular provided data set name and after creating this new file just catalog it and if if something wrong happens while creating this uh, file or the data set or the ps file then delete that okay delete it so these are the different disposition parameter that we will be giving while writing a DD statements so if it is a old file so then you will be specifying it as a old and if you are going to share this file in a different program then you can specify it as a SHR then I'm specifying here it as a new file so since I have to create this as a new file so then another parameter that we will be having is as a DCB that is data control block and here you are specifying this will be the data set name or the file name and you have specified the disposition parameter now you have to tell the system like what kind of this file is either it's a PS file or a PDS file that is data set organization so here you have to specify it as a PS file then what kind of format it is is it a fixed fixed length format or it's going to be a variable length format like a number of columns in this particular file either it's a 80 bytes file or 120 bytes or 300 bytes or it's going to be varying so first line can be first record can be 10 bytes and second record can be a 20 bytes so based on that we have to specify this record format so here I'm specifying it is a fixed block that is also called as a fixed byte so then if you have if your file is like very varying then you can specify it as a variable block okay then you can write it as a record length since I'm specifying it, telling it as a fixed block or a fixed byte then you can uh, specify the record length here L rec L uh, here it can be I'm storing it as a 80 bytes then block size I'm giving it as a 0 so by default the block size can be a 0 so that it will take required block space for these particular data sets then you have to specify a space parameter so how much space you wanted to allocate for this particular uh, file so this is a wonderful feature that we have in a mainframe environment so you can initially itself you can specify a space so with that you can save some time so we can specify it as a tracks and specifying it as a tracks and uh, uh, this space can be a tracks or it can be a cylinders okay so for now in specifying it as a track so normally we measure it in MBs and kilobytes right for the in main period in order we specify it tracks and cylinders for the unused space uh, this indicates like uh, the first parameter indicates the primary and the secondary if the primary is filled then use the secondary so after using the space if you find anything uh, memory is left then you have to release that memory for other usage so and you can also specify the unit parameter so where the storage is going to store where the data set is going to store and you also have to specify the volume or serial number and
and uh, can specify this okay so these are the different parameters that we will be using in a DD statement so I hope you got a clear understanding about all these three statements like job exec and DD statements and to recall backs in DD statement the first will be the DD name followed by the DD operand then you have the parameters like DSN disposition DCB space unit Disp DSN is a data set name that data set name can be either BS file or a PDS file then you will specify the disposition parameters whether you are going to create a new data set or old then you are specifying the attributes like the data control block uh, attributes like data set organization is a PS file a fixed block what is the record format length block size and the space and unit and volume serial number thank you so much for watching this video next video will be about how do we submit a job or how do we run a job in a batch environment